So I was watching this. Uh, I wasn't watching it. I saw the headline. Harry and Meghan's argument at LA airport caught on camera. Don't hold my hands. Is this from The Sun? Where is it from? Oh, no. It's from Royal Scoop. Okay, because The Sun has its own, like, stupid headlines. Um, And I just wanted to talk about Harry and Meghan's body language in this one because I've never seen a couple in recent memory with such positive body language. I don't know about you, but when I look at Harry and Meghan, I mean, look, all of this could be a mirage, you know, because I don't really know what goes on behind closed doors. And I'll readily admit that, right? I'm not in their house. I'm not in their marriage. I don't know, you know, what's what's really what. But I can tell you that there's such a thing as body language. And a lot of experts are constantly reading body language, especially of Harry and Meghan. And I think that Harry and Meghan have very, very positive body language. Sometimes when Harry thinks the camera is not watching, when you, when they zoom in, for example, at his hands, like when he's holding hands with his wife, he's literally caressing her hand with his thumb. You know, he's rubbing his thumb over her hand quietly and secretly so that if the camera person is not zooming in on his hands, no one would ever know. And what he's basically doing is communicating. They're communicating. They have a secret language between the two of them, especially when they are in public. Every now and then it's exposed when a very clever camera person zooms in on the finer details especially with the hand holding right you catch harry just whatever he's saying to megan because she knows what he's saying because you can tell that this is a couple they talk beforehand they you know they're together this is frick and frack okay they are in this together till the sweet end till the sweet end, right? They are friends. These two people are friends. And I think in the end, it's the most important thing in a couple is that you are best friends because obviously all that other physical passion and all that stuff wanes over time. I mean, how many, how much karma suturing can you possibly do? You know, it's finite, right? But if you have at the end two people who really like each other, who are friends, who are on the same wavelength, who basically want the same things, who understand each other, and who have a feeling that it's you and me against the world, you have a successful combination as far as I'm concerned. And that's what I see in Harry and Meghan. I see two people who feel that it's you and me against the world. And we are in this together to the sweet end. And the end is sweet because the present is sweet. You know, they love sitting together and strategizing and plotting and making decisions, joint decisions together. Everything is we and our just listen to the way they both speak about their work, about their family, about their children, right? About their relationship. I mean, there are shorts on Instagram of Harry saying, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. And we know that Megan has been criticized a lot for saying, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband. These two people are in sync with one another. I mean, they are in sync with one another, right? 
I don't see a scenario where they part in this lifetime. Like they found each other. They dropped into each other's lives and everything about their body language tells me that they are in this together to the sweet end. And that end is when one of them is no longer in the flesh. That's how I see it. Right. I don't know what you see when you look at Harry and Meghan, but when I see Harry and Meghan, this is a couple who they just understand each other because you have to understand Meghan was already who she was before she met Harry. She was already doing this type of work and Harry was doing this type of work. They were doing the same type of work in different countries, in different contexts. So They've only just come together to combine what they already are. You see, this is the beautiful thing about it. They are partners, right? They are a team, a team of two, okay? They understand one another. They they speak each other's language. When they're holding hands, they're not just holding hands. They are speaking through even their hands, right? When Harry's like, you know, caressing Megan's hand with his thumb and all the chaos around them, everybody's taking pictures, everybody's talking, they crowds and crowds. These two people are talking without even moving their lips. They're talking even just with their hands, you see. I mean, speaking of body language, I don't I don't know what else you could really come, you know, what conclusions you can draw from the body language of these people. I mean, the body language of these people for me is that Again, they are in this together for the long haul, right? They are in this together. They are together. This is real. This is love. This is more than love. I mean, this is like, they are committed to this story and to this experience to the sweet end, to the sweet end. What are your thoughts about this? Do you agree or disagree?